Good morning, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Inspirations with Pastor Tim. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This morning's inspiration is found in the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 32. Be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. Whether it is the driver who cut you off in traffic, a relative who gets under your skin, or a co-worker who irritates you, there will always be someone in your life who needs forgiveness. Sometimes pardoning an offense is easily done and anger is soon forgotten. Other times, deep roots of hurt prevail. Resentment and bitterness tighten their grip on your spirit and make reconciliation very difficult. Pardon is most easily given when remembering the immense debt of which Christ has relieved you. Each of us know the wrongs we have done, yet Christ freely forgives us because of his immeasurable, immutable love for his children. God heals your hurts first by forgiving you and then by teaching you how to forgive others. Out of thankfulness to him, you should reflect the grace that you have received. Forgive one another as quickly and thoroughly as God in Christ forgave you. Forgiveness is God's grace lived out in a practical way. Therefore, forgiveness always entails a sacrifice. You must give up your anger and resentment toward others so that you may be a mirror image of God's grace. You will never resemble Christ more than when you do for others what he has done for you. Remember, harboring unforgiveness is your heart only hurts you and blocks God's intent for your future. So forgive and forget all the hurt and pain people, situations, and circumstances has caused you. Keep no list of wrongs. Pray for your antagonists rather than plot against them. Hate the wrong without hating the wrongdoers. Turn your attention away from what they did to you, to what Jesus did for you, and watch God richly bless your life. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you again on tomorrow. Have a blessed day.